Hey, how are you? Yeah, I saw in your paperwork you're having an itchy rash on your ears and your eyes, yeah? Tell me a bit about that. When did it start? Is it anywhere off of your face, your arms, your chest, your back? Okay, so just on your eyes and ears. Okay. Have you tried any new products recently? A new moisturizer, makeup, face wash, anything like that? How about any new shampoo? Any new detergents? No? Okay. Do you have any history of eczema or psoriasis? No? Okay. Any autoimmune disease? And have you started taking any kind of new medications? No? Okay. Any new supplements? Anything different in your diet? Have you been camping or outdoors on a hike or anything like that? Okay. Okay. Just have to ask these questions just to rule out Anything like an allergic reaction or impetigo, um, poison ivy, anything like that, okay? But we will examine you here and see if we can't figure out what's going on. Because just looking at you, I can see it's pretty uncomfortable, huh? Itchy? Yeah, I can see. I'm sorry. But we'll get to the bottom of it, okay? Let me just... Pop on a pair of gloves. listen to your chest, okay? Okay. Might be a little cold. <laughs> Take a deep breath in for me. And again, in. And out. Okay. Oops. Your little sound clear. Nice and dry. So that's good. Yeah. Open your mouth for me, okay? 
Okay. Or swelling in your throat? You having any difficulty with swallowing? gonna look at the skin around your eyes, okay? Real quick. Let's do get an idea here. Is it tender? Okay, just irritated. Well, if anything causes you discomfort, let me know. Okay. I don't want to make uncomfortable and also knowing if there are particularly tender areas helps me figure out a diagnosis so I don't feel any swelling on palpation been expressed from the eye the eye area no okay okay I'm take a quick measurement so start from here in the middle
they're almost symmetrical and where the irritation the redness is extending into the ear and then it's gonna stand up behind it not into the scalp and it's not on your hands Do a quick cleaning of your ear to so I am able to get a better visual of the skin. Right now I'm not really able to see very clearly because the view is blocked by some earwax. Not a big deal. I have a couple little tools here I'm going to use just to clear some of that out, make it easier for me to be able to get a visual exam of the inside of your ear, okay? So, let me know if there's any tenderness at all, alright? Okay, so, this guy, it's just a little spring, oh, we got a fuzz stuck. It's gonna go inside of your ear and just twist around. Grab on to any wax that may be there. If it is unable to catch everything, I have a curette that I will insert and pull out 
anything that's remaining, okay? Okay. So, let's just stand so I have a little bit better control over my hands. Okay, it's not painful or irritating at all. Okay. forth a little bit, okay? So inserting. Okay.
everything is clear until look at the skin. where your lymph nodes are located, okay? So first, under the eye, we have our infraorbital nodes. And Any lymphadenopathy here feels these areas pain when I palpate down your neck? No? Okay. Good. Your skin does feel like it's a normal temperature. So that's good. Don't feel any warm spots. Ultraviolet light to look at your skin because this is any particular type of, or if this is a particular type of fungal infection, the UV light will make it glow. We'll be able to see. So, I'm gonna do my best to keep it out of your eyes. It's not particularly bright. It shouldn't be too irritating if it does happen to shine in your eyes. I'll do my best to keep it out. Okay. So, first things first. 
first because I'm just gonna shine it. Sorry, my chair makes some weird noises sometimes. We don't see anything lighting up with some types of fungal infections. The UV light can make them glow. So let me just take a look at your scalp though really quickly, okay? Just in case there's not there's something we're not able to see. including the vision. contact dermatitis, which can happen to anyone. You come in contact with a substance that irritates the skin. Judging by where the redness is occurring, I'm guessing you had something on your hands, and sometimes the skin on our hands doesn't react. It's a little bit more accustomed to being exposed to different things. You had something on your hands, and maybe it's your eye, your ear, and those two areas being more delicate skin reacted. So, before we do anything further, I'm just going to take a quick culture just to make sure this is not an infectious process. 
I don't think it is. Right here. sent out for culture, okay? Just to rule out any sort of bacterial or fungal infection that I'm not able to diagnose just with our physical exam here, okay? In the meantime, I am going to apply a topical steroid cream just to see if we can't coax this a little bit into calming down, okay? And I will write you a prescription for this as well, so you can use it at home. first around your eyes
That's okay, it's not burning. okay on your skin. It's not irritating or burning or anything like that. Okay, good. Don't want to add to any discomfort. So, I'm going to write your prescription. For the same topical cream as well as a in his own taper pack. So. give any refills. If you finish both medications and you're still having symptoms, I want you to call my office and come back in, okay? Okay. Then with the prednisone, I want you to hold off on taking anti-inflammatories as well, all right? You might want to take it with food, however, but the pharmacist at your pharmacy will go over the instructions. Speaking of... We have a pharmacy on file for you. Okay. Still using the CVS on 43rd? Okay. Then we'll get that called in there. Alright. Step out. Do you have any questions for me? Okay. If that changes, just give me a call. Or if you're still here and you think of a question, just let one of my medical assistants know and they'll come and grab me, okay? Okay. So I will give you a call within the next 24 to 48 hours with the culture results, which is about the time frame that we'll get them back. Alright? Okay. We'll talk soon.